So you're in a job interview and everything is going great. And then they ask you that dreaded question. So tell me about a time when you, all of a sudden, your palms are sweaty, your knees weak, arms are heavy, you vomit on your sweat. Okay, that's probably something else. But the point is, you need to know how to answer that question. And in this video, we give you the very best answer. Stay tuned. What's up, job seekers? This is Tony R. Sanders, and you are watching The Happy Meter. This channel is dedicated to teaching job seekers how to connect, find, and do the work that they love. I'm super excited about today's video because today we get to help you with that dreaded interview question that we all get from time to time, and if we're honest, we all hate a little bit. Tell me about a time when. Now, we have a proven strategy that's gonna help you answer that question in the best possible way to really show what you can do and show your skills to that hiring manager. But before we do that, I think it's important to understand why someone would ask that question. Sometimes you gotta reverse engineer it. You gotta start with the end in mind. And so, why would I ask that question if I was hiring for a position? Well, the whole point of going through an interview process is I want to understand how well you may be able to do some of the tasks that we need you to do here on a daily basis. And so if I can get some information from you about when you've done it before and how it's been successful, then that will help me better determine whether or not you can be a success in that role. And that's all it is. It's really simple. And we'll talk about how you can reverse engineer some of your answers, but let's get into the method that will help you answer these questions. See, here's a secret. I'm gonna give you a secret already. Come here. You have to be a good storyteller to answer this question. Now, I know you're thinking, well, wait, I'm not a storyteller. I'm not a comedian. I don't tell jokes. No one likes to hear my stories. That's okay. We have a method. And if you follow this method and you prepare before your interview, you'll nail it every single time, I promise. So, what is this method that we're talking about that I keep alluding to? It's the STAR method. Write it down, the STAR method, S-T-A-R. And it's an acronym, and it stands for Situation, Task, Action, and Result. These are the elements that you need to tell a great story to answer that dreaded question, tell me about a time. So let's walk through what that looks like in an actual interview. Now with the STAR methodology, we're gonna talk about actually two ways how to use it. Number one, we're gonna talk about how to use it when the results were good. But also, we're gonna talk about what happens and how to use it when the results weren't good and you wanna show what you've learned. Here's an example of how to use the STAR model when the results were good. They may say, tell me about a time where you worked in a group and you had to get a project done all around one goal. And I would say, perfect, we had a situation at my last organization where we had the task of increasing our close rate by 3% in a 90 day time period. Now, in that moment, I just gave the situation and the task or the goal, what we were trying to do, what we were trying to achieve. Now we can't stop there because that's only half the equation. We have to also give them the action and also the result. And so my next statement would be something like, I knew that in order to get our desired result, in order to hit that task, we had to make sure that we were all clear on what we were trying to do, so our goal, but also how we could contribute to that and what everyone's individual task would be. And then we put all that together in a timeline with a project plan to make sure we got that done. So we went through a meeting, we developed the project plan, and in the end, the result of that was we were able to hit our goal of increasing our close rate by 3% actually before the 90 day mark. You give that answer, anybody's going to be impressed because you not only showed them that you're a good listener, you not only show them that you have specific experiences that relate to the question that they ask, but you show them you have a system of success where if you're put in that situation again, you could probably produce the same result. And that's exactly what they wanna see in a job interview. But now let's talk about how we can present this information in the event that the results weren't good. And we all know we get those questions sometimes. Okay, that was great, but tell me about a time where you didn't hit your goal. Tell me about a time where it didn't turn out great. How did you handle that? And so we're still gonna use the STAR model, but we're gonna add a little extra onto it, another, an additional AR. So it's gonna be the star 
AR model. So we're gonna give them the situation, task, action, and result, but then we're gonna give them our desired action and our desired result, showing them what we learned. So an example of how to use that when the results weren't good would sound something like this. At my last job, we were tasked with building out a virtual experience for all the people who had to work from home because of the pandemic. One of the actions that we took was we assumed everyone knew how to do things in Zoom. We assumed everyone were familiar with the platform, they knew how to use breakout rooms and polls and all those things. And so the result of that was, when we tried to do that in the live meeting, no one knew what to do and it was a disaster. Now, we've given situation, task, action, and result, but now we have to give the desired action and the desired result. That was really hard for me to be able to go through that, but what I learned from that was the next time I should never assume that someone knows how to do something, I should always verify that information and provide the resources just in case this is someone's first time using Zoom or whatever platform that we are doing. I think if I do that, the result that we have next time will be more positive and everyone will be able to have a great virtual experience because we didn't assume anything. We went through the proper process to make sure that we had a good result. Now you may be thinking, okay, I have the model. I know how to answer the questions, but how can I know what questions they're gonna ask me before I get to the interview? Well, the short answer is you can't ever be totally sure. But what we can do is look at the job posting and look at the description and find out those activities, those behaviors, those responsibilities or core competencies of that role. And that's gonna give you the answers that they're probably looking for. They wanna see stories or hear stories about how you display these behaviors and what it looked like when it was successful and in some cases, what it looks like when it's unsuccessful. So if I were you, I would grab that job description and I would look at the core competencies in there that they would wanna see and potentially ask questions about to know if I'm gonna be good at this job or not. And I would pre-plan stories using the STAR model or using the STAR AR model to have my stories prepared and rehearsed so I can deliver them in an articulate and clear manner inside the interview. Also, there's a link in the description for a free workbook that you can download that will help you walk through the STAR model and plan your conversations so you can be prepared when you walk into that interview. Because at the end of the day, I just want you to work happy. Is that too much to ask? I don't think so. That's the end of this video. Let me know in the comment section how you plan to use the STAR model at your next interview. Remember to subscribe to this channel. We wanna see you in the next video. And also let me know what other interview questions that really have you struggling, that really have you at a loss for words. I wanna help you as much as I can. I'll see you next time. Peace.